Sean Hannity knows exactly who to blame for the market plunge that we witnessed the other day. Um, pretty sure you already know who he's going to say. Because the Obama economy was so weak all of these years, we had just artificially cheap money. Now, what's cheap, mo cheap money? Cheap money is when you can borrow at ridiculously low rates. The era of cheap money at some point has to come to an end. And the government is artificially, the Fed has artificially kept the price of money down and, uh, and the price of borrowing down. And now that's going to come to an end. And if, in many ways, it represents Ashley Webster is the name. In many ways, um, it's a sign of the strength of the economy more than anything else. So I think the underpinnings of the economy are so strong now that the adjustment is coming. There's, I think, a lot of people understand that cheap money uh, is no longer going to be available. But there will be more money available, ironically, for investments and so on and so forth. Is there anybody in the world who thinks he knows what he's talking about? <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. He's just such a partisan hack. He just, he's got one trick, and it's the same as Rush Limbaugh's trick. Republicans are right about everything. Democrats are wrong about everything. It's just so hacky. I don't know how anybody could look at that and go, yeah, that guy's getting it right. I mean, it, you're, he's like tribalism personified. That's what Sean Hannity is. So, um... There's a weird contradiction in there, too. He said, well, look, the pro reason why we're having this problem is that the Obama economy was so weak for so many years. And then he immediately says right after, well, the market crash is actually good and it shows strength. So hold on. You said the reason why the market is crashing is because of Obama. And then you said, well, the market crash is good because it shows strength. So then are you giving Obama credit? <laughs> The market crashed really because of Obama. And anyway, the, the market crashing shows actually underlying strength. So then you would be giving Obama credit then. That's the logical conclusion based off what you just said. <laughs> okay, there, okay, here's, here's the deal. Let's put aside what this fuckface said because he's beyond clownish. He's just a hack. I mean, that's all there is to say about Sean Hannity. Uh, what's really going on with the economy? Well, listen, the market... <laughs> even though Sean Hannity wouldn't admit this, yeah, it actually it actually skyrocketed under Obama. Now, as I said repeatedly, the market is not a good indicator of how your average person is doing. It's just not. It's more of an indicator of how the rich are doing and how corporations are doing more than anything. Um, but the market went up under Obama. In fact, it I think it more than doubled under Obama. When he came in office, we had the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession. And then when he left office, you know, it was at least double what it was before. Um, so the market went up under Obama, but the fundamentals are not there for this economy. Now, why do I say that? Well, you could argue the stimulus was good that Obama did, but what's not good is the Wall Street bailouts. You're reinflating the bubble. Uh, they did the Dodd-Frank rules to regulate Wall Street, but here's the problem with that. They're not nearly strong enough, and there's so many loopholes that Wall Street basically went back to doing exactly what they were doing before. So you had some, a little bit, you know, like basically I would describe it as a band-aid with some ointment on it being put over a gaping gangrenous wound. That's Obama and his job with the economy and his regulations of Wall Street. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was great, saved billions of dollars to consumers who were fleeced. Um, but overall, it just, he just didn't do a great job with the economy for your average person. He did great for CEOs and, and the owner class. Well, then Trump gets in there and he takes away whatever remaining rules there are that, you know, keep the refs in the game. So Trump comes in there and he's like, totally get rid of Dodd-Frank, deregulate much more, so he speeds up the next crash. So really, the stock market crash is... They're both at fault. And even going back to George W. Bush, he's at fault too. Even Bill Clinton, he's at fault. All these people are at fault because we've had an underlying philosophy of, of neoliberalism every step of the way. The underlying philosophy is deregulate Wall Street, cut taxes for the rich. Now, there are tweaks here and there. Like, again, Obama did some safeguards, but they were really shitty ones and not nearly strong enough. But the, that's the problem, is the underlying philosophy is neoliberalism. And there's a lot of deregulation, a lot of tax cuts for the rich, a lot of giveaways to corporations going on under all these administrations. And basically what happens is you're increasing income inequality and wealth inequality. And when you do that, the system is fundamentally unstable. And so you have, for example, 
over a trillion dollars in student loan debt, over a trillion dollars in credit card debt. You have wages that are stagnant since the 1980s. And when that's the way the system's going, that all the wealth and income is going to the top 1% and everybody else is struggling, of course there's going to be a, a massive crash. So that's what's going on here. Now, they say the specific thing that brought about this most recent plunge, and by the way, since then the market has stabilized, so this has not been the big crash yet. Um, but they say the specific thing that brought this about was fear of interest rates growing up. Going up, not growing up, going up. And um, a, a decent wage report, where we learned wages actually ticked up a little bit for the first time in a long time. And what happened was the owner class went, oh shit, we don't want high wages for workers, and then there was a drop in the market. Which kind of, uh, you know, almost highlights the problem with this market-based economy and the way it works right now. Is like, oh shit, it's bad news if workers get a little bit of a raise? The fu That's crazy. So, that's what's really going on with the economy. That's the Cliff Notes version of it. Sean Hannity is a hack who's trying to find a way to... Uh, Obama! Something, it's gotta be Obama's fault. So, everything good that ever happens, when the market was going up... Hannity said, ah, it's Trump is wonderful. But now when the market crashes, immediately he tries to pawn responsibility off. And he's, nope, it's, Trump is responsible for everything that's good. Obama's responsible for everything that's bad. Again, I don't know how anybody can take, listen to a guy like Sean Hannity and take him seriously.